Hi, and welcome to EduSlam, where we interview some of the world's best educators. Uh, today I'm really excited because we have Rashawn Richards here. He's actually the creator of one of my favorite all-time apps, Explain Everything. And he is here for ADE Week. I'm going to pass you over to Holly, and she's going to then introduce Rashawn. Well, I'm not actually going to introduce Rashawn. I'm just going to say I'm Holly from San Diego, and I'm going to let Rashawn do the honors. Oh, hi. I'm Rashawn Richards. I'm a ADE hi. class of 2013. Hi. Uh, hi. I'm a director of ed tech at a pre-K to 12 school in New Jersey. And I'm a almost finished graduate student. And I've been doing research on assessment and screencasting. And all of these experiences have contributed to making that app explain everything which I hope people like, and I hope it doesn't crash on them. <laughs> I think it's everyone's favorite app, Rashawn. We want to hear your EduSlam. Can you, can you tell us what your EduSlam is? Sure. So I'm going to talk about um, a, a problem we faced uh, here at our school when we rolled out uh, a shared set of iPads. And one of the challenges was, you know, the kids are doing all these amazing things there, and it's not necessarily static or linear content. How can we collect and curate and, most importantly, use it in a way that you know, we can have these ongoing uh, artifacts for reflection and discussion and dialogue that's beyond just the moments when they're using the app? Um, so our solution, should I keep going about this? Am I, am yeah, I on here? Great. Oh, you're <laughs> on. You're on. Go ahead. So our solution is that you know, we, we use Evernote. Uh, heavily as our like cloud-based system for um, both sharing content but also f just for people's personal organization. And one of the great features in Evernote is that you can email content directly to an Evernote user's notebook. And so, you know, our problem at, at our, with our lower grades, this is pre-K to 3, was the kids don't have their own Evernote accounts and most of them don't even have their own email address. So what we did was on every iPad, we just set up a generic email address. And then in, in addition to that, on every iPad, when we were doing the imaging, we set up a contact list that had every primary school teacher's direct to Evernote email address in it. So this way, from the iPad, it would be very easy to get content off the iPad, it doesn't matter which one, uh, straight to the teacher um, from the device. So I'm going to attempt now to sw switch to a screen share mode here. Slam right there. And you should oh, yeah. see my iPad. Right <laughs> and I'll, <laughs> and I'll, I'll go at a, at a medium pace just in case the, the uh, streaming uh, has any delay. So I'm going to launch Explain Everything. That's no coincidence. And so I'm going to pretend I'm a, I'm a pre-K student here. And before, uh, I'm going to draw a fish because that's important. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to put the fish in a tank, and maybe I will uh, put it on the ground. Well, it's, I guess it's kind of floating. So here's this wonderful content I've made, and I've just, I didn't even do it as a screen recording. I'm just doing it as an image. So now, you know, this app and many other apps uh, has a direct email function. So I'm going to go export image. And instead of exporting to the photo roll to one of the other, other places, I'm going to say photo to mail. That's asking for an image name. OK, that's fine. And so here, now this is my personal iPad, so you're going to see all of my contacts. But I'm just going to quickly type in um, uh, m.evernote, because I know that will pull up all of the teachers. So don't email these people, please. And <laughs> the, all of those addresses would populate, so a student could actually just start typing in their, their teacher's name, uh, and it would only pull up um, that one address. So now I'm going to send it to me. And the other cool thing that you can do is in the subject line, you can add uh, some, um, some markup language almost to tell it where to go. So I'm going to tell this to go into a specific notebook that's called apartment. And I'm also going to tell it to tag it with the word fish tank. So using these little uh, these terms, you can actually not only send the email, but actually direct it. So our teachers, what they do is they've set up a notebook with each kid's name. So when a student's sending an email, they'll put at and their name, or their name and a first 
last initial, so that the teacher doesn't actually have to sort it out. It's actually going to go right into the kid's notebook that they've got there. Love it. So, oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, oh. It, do I still have time here? Am I good? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah. good. This is too good. So I'm, I'm switching over to Evernote now. You'll see it momentarily. This is a beta version. I don't know if I've explained everything. The word outbox is misspelled. We'll fix that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, my Evernote should be visible now. Yep. And uh, so the notebook I sent it to is one called Apartment. And... Oh, look, there it is. So not only did that note that I just created now of that fish in a tank uh, appear in my notebook, when I open the note, it also has the tag. I don't know if you see it on the right yeah. column. So if there was something particular to a project or some other themes that were important, um, that that can work out well. So the, the final part of my, my slam is, so now we've created something and now I've been able to collect and organize it. And the final step might be about, well, I want to actually share this out and publish it. So a cool, really cool service that's still in beta that I learned about uh, a couple of weeks ago is called Pistachio. And uh, they're a startup that's using Evernote's API to easily turn content from Evernote into a public-facing blog. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take my little fish tank here. No and way. I'm going to put it in my pistachio notebook. Okay. It's going to go into my pistachio notebook and I'm also going to add a tag of published. So now it's going to pistachio, it's going to published. I'm going to close it. I'm going to just hope that this syncs in real time. I'm really playing with fire here because I'm assuming that this will happen in real time. Um, Oh, sync here. That'll sync it. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to my computer, if that's okay. Yeah, I'm loving this. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's me again. Hi, I'm Rashawn. <laughs> and now I'm going to... Oops, I'm going to close my Gmail. You don't want to see that. So now I'm going to share my Chrome browser. And okay, so this is my pistachio blog. And actually, during the AD Institute, I was taking notes and just adding little these little snippets of uh, ideas and information here. So when I refresh this page, cross your fingers, that note that I took. Oh, there it Whoa! is! Oh, slam! Oh my god! So now it's now it's published like maybe for student portfolios or something. It could be for student portfolios, um, and and you know the pistachio guys are awesome. They're like totally into hearing from educators about um, ideas of how this can be appropriated, like if this needed to be password protected. Um, it, it's just so cool, and like other things could have happened before. Like I'm gonna go if I went back to um, that I original note I made. Oh. Oh my god. I could have added some text or comments or some other things to it <gasps> and this could all get published in real time. So it's just pretty <laughs> to me, Oh my it, god. It's got like all three aspects of like create, you know, curate and then uh, and then share or publish and I I, I think it's oh pretty awesome. Oh my god, awesome. Rashawn, I have tears in my eyes. I have tears in my eyes <laughs> from laughing, so cool. right? No. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> All I can think about are all the people I'm going to share this with, and like, what a slam! That was oh a slam, and how God, smart I'm getting from the show. I'm like brainiac now. My my so, favorite thing, if 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 it's okay, if you yeah. humor me, because don't just don't forget this that really from any app that you can take a still. So if I was a kid uh, or a student, and I was in. Oh, I don't have very, very many fun apps on here. Um, sorry. Now I'm just making these up. <laughs> it's okay. Open up. Explain everything. No, but then I, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to show that, there, that there's more to it. Okay, so let's... Telegami's fun. Oh, did I have Telegami on yeah. here? Yeah. So next screen. Holly's, right like, frantically <laughs> checking out your apps. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so say say I, I like just designed something in here and I don't have time to make the recording or whatever and it's just like, oh, this is something of interest. I could just do a screenshot. You should see the flash soon, or maybe you won't. Okay. Yeah, no, we did. And then from the photo roll, 
I can email this. Smashing going on in here, huh? This is pretty good. So even this one. Yeah, there, Greg. We're app smashing. And watch what I can do. Just from here. This is almost like uh, like Posterous used to be post dash. No, 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 no. You're not posting it from there. I am. <gasps> oh my! See now I'm God. telling you. Go to my go to my oh Evernote. My send it to the Pistachio Notebook oh. and publish and it. And publish it. Oh. No way. So oh not only have I put it out on this public space, but I'm also oh. I'm also going to be able to internally uh, organize it. So let me go back to my notebooks. We need to get Pistachio on our show. We They're awesome. Get totally oh do it. <laughs> I love that uh, picture of you, by the way. <laughs> was it of me? Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, I guess it'll sink soon. Sink it. Or sink it. Sink it. Sorry. This is like. Hmm. We just need a fourth grader in the room. They'd know how. Or you know <laughs> yeah, how, but you know. They'd be like, they already have it published and they're on to their next thing. 54. I guess it hasn't come in yet. Maybe it's still in my inbox. But in theory, that's what should have happened. Wow. It's still awesome. You can try it. Salam. Thank you is so that what, much. Is that, is that what I'm supposed to say at the end? Like, you've been slammed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do yeah. it. What was, what was that show with Ashton Kircher when you would be like, oh, you got I punked. just got punked. I just yeah, got yeah. slammed. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much, Rashawn. And please... People, if you're watching, make sure to go to uh, to edgeslam.me. That is actually our site name. It is edgeslam.me. And check out some of our awesome edgeslams. Thanks so much. Com dot coms are so not cool anymore. <laughs> no, it's edgeslamme.me. Dot me. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>